Good afternoon traders, it's Mark here from the Day Trading Room. It's currently 1pm Wednesday the 15th of September, uh, it's 1pm London time. I'm going to do a very quick video to run through what we, uh, what trades we took yesterday and perhaps what we're looking to do today. So let's run through yesterday's action first, uh, which was on the Tuesday. Um, Tuesday was uh, an interesting day, a bit of a trend up day which attempted to reverse um, during the, the lunch time and then push higher but scared a few balls towards the close and started to push down. So what did we get up to? Well at the open we were looking to jump on a move um, as we know the uh, the Dow likes to move at least 30 points in the first 15 minutes. Generally it's a generalization but it's something we can we can look for. So what I'm looking for is tape strength or weakness to jump on and then to ride that wave until we hit at least a 30 point level or another significant level or perhaps if we see a tick exhaustion. Uh, we started to push up, we closed the gap, immediately sellers came in and that was some good volume there, you can see down here some good volume. The ticks had stayed low all for the first few minutes and we started to get low ticks. Uh, tape started to speed up so that was great, that was our short entry there and our stop was going to be above uh, above this level here. We pushed down and we, and we got our scales out, we got a plus 10 ticks, plus 11 ticks, plus 13 ticks, uh, plus 16 and the final exit was plus 21. So that was a great little trade to start the day off with and, uh, and then we were looking to see um, rather than uh, a tape read momentum trade we're now looking to see something that was going to give us a bit more of a push uh, for a longer move. Uh, we found some support here which happened to be the 10500 on the on the Dow Cash and uh, buyers stepped in. We didn't want to get involved in this because we had some data coming out at the uh, 3 o'clock London time which was the business inventories. Uh, that was a bit of a non-starter, we had a bit of consult a bit of chop here up and down and then finally the buyers stepped in and showed their, showed their hand and as we pushed up from here um, I thought it was worth a buy so I took a long here and uh, we consolidated a little bit, didn't get enough to get a scale, we started to push lower, happy to add on this little low spike here, ticks weren't really pushing lower, you know they were still holding relatively firm so I took another, uh, took another long here and the stop was going to be here below this good support level level. Um, so the average was around here, so it, it, it was a fair trade. First target was going to be the 72 gap fill again which happened to be the, the high and then I was going to look for ultimately uh, yesterday's high as my exit and the overnight high. You can see here how the market's just uh, paid attention to these levels. But what we got is we got um, say roll back over I was I was ready to, to start closing some of the position uh, as we pushed through here but we didn't we found some support and uh, we pushed back up took a, an exit here which was uh, 10, 10 ticks on this uh, second entry and then actually as we pushed up here I decided I didn't want to be uh, didn't want to be involved in it so I took uh, took it off I was ready at the 72 level here and I got my exit here for the for the first entry so two lots of uh, two lots of 10 ticks I think there's 11 ticks actually on the first so 11 and 10 and then we left it. Uh, it was low volume here, we chopped around for a good 15 minutes before we pushed back up and um, yeah we did get our final targets here but we weren't in the trade but we're happy to take um, some good action from the open. So that was it, we were looking for a short uh, around the midday level, it was holding at this 10.507 level uh, which was more evident on the tape than it was on the chart initially and I took a short on, I didn't want to take a short here, I wanted to wait for a little bit of an unwinding and push up. I took a short here as we burst through, we pushed down, didn't quite get enough for my exit and as we pushed back up I ended up closing for a couple of tick loss. So um, all in all great day, we had a great first trade on there, uh, a, a good if not took a bit of heat on that one uh, but it was a good trade in the end of the second trade. Third trade scratched out and uh, that was it for the day. Uh, did contemplate thinking about taking this break at the 10, uh, 10.507 level here for the VWAP um, but passed on it, happy to bank the profit for the day. So let's see what happens today. Um, don't forget to manage your risk. Um, look at the most important thing is to look where your, your exit's going to be if the trade doesn't go your way. Plan your trade, look for your levels. Uh, good trading guys. As always, email me, mark at the day trading room uk, or visit the forum and ask your questions, mark at the day trading room dot com.